Matthew Silva is a multi-award winning director, actor, producer and editor and the CEO of Rainium Films LLC, a production company founded nearly six years ago. And he's with us here just now. How are you today? Good, good. Thank you for having me on, Toby. I'm super excited to be on here today. Thank you. Yeah, well, it's amazing to have you here. So being the CEO of a film production company and being an actor, producer, and editor do you think you do more than the average ceo i think it all just comes with the game Mm. um so the reason why i took on so many different roles is because at the time when i first started it it was just uh you know it was really expensive to get other people on board and take on these roles and action so i decided Mm. to you know take it up and learn some of these actions myself just so that i can go ahead and make this stuff happen of course alongside my team as well yeah do you feel like you have a little a bit more control maybe over the films you make if you're doing a lot of the roles yourself yes 100 percent. being able to uh edit produce direct uh do i totally prefer it not all the time mm. but it does allow me to have a lot more creative control on whatever project i'm working at at the, at the time yeah so let's talk about some of the films that you have done and tv shows as well what would you say have been your biggest stuff some of the biggest stuff that I had done recently that I produced and directed, you know, uh, uh, myself was probably Intense Battles Reloaded. And, uh, of course, a project that I just recently started uh, or recently released uh, with the help of uh, director Rob Legacy I edited on was I Got Now. Mm. Um, those are some of the most successful projects I've done independently. Um, and the reason for that is because those are just the most ambitious uh, projects, you know, just trying trying to involve so many different people, so many members. Yeah. Although, of course, it's still fairly independent. Um, it was just one of the most ambitious projects in a way of just trying to involve a lot of stuff that, you know, TV involves different characters, different, mm-hmm. you know, uh, just from different backgrounds and just trying to make it as diverse as possible. So that that that's what I would consider one of the uh, most recent successes uh, yeah. that I've put together recently. Yeah, and Get It Now has only been out, what, a month so far? So it's great that that's already successful in such short time. Yes, definitely, yeah. definitely. So I Got Now is a series that recently uh, I jumped on board uh, with a good friend of mine um, mm-hmm. who's also the director. And the whole vision behind I Got Now was to basically bring together a bunch of different music artists or, you know, hip hop artists or independent rappers and mm-hmm. be able to showcase their talents and their skill set uh, for be able to come up with all these different elaborate rhymes. So we put together a show to just showcase their talents and bring everyone together yeah that's interesting because i don't think i've ever seen or heard of anything like that before how did you come up with the idea so the idea came out with rob legacy he was Mm. the one who envisioned the idea i remember we were working on set one time and he showed me this idea and was like yeah man you know i've just been really thinking about it and i really wanted to get everybody together on board and maybe just you know share their skill set and of course you know i hopped on not only because he's a good friend but as well as you know, that's what Rainium Films is all about for me, uh, especially starting out six years ago as a kid in high school yeah. uh, at the age of 15, just trying to be able to get everyone's name and voices heard on a platform where it's pretty much hard to be able to do in this type of industry. It's hard to be able to get people on a platform such as Amazon Prime and, you know, on a website where people are able to access a film. So that's kind of just how, you know, that series started and then eventually finished up about a month ago and uh, currently working on season two. Yeah, and starting a film production company at the age of 15, that's a really young age, but you must have been serious because it still exists. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy because me and my best friend, who I'm still actually really good friends with, and he's my co-founder, Angel Rios, we uh, started it in high school, about sophomore year of high school. We started off making YouTube videos, uh, you know, just video game videos, and started off making like little skits here and there with Nerf guns, mm. and and one day he told me, hey, listen, man, you just recently got a little uh, camcorder. Let's make something out of it. So I was like, all right, cool. So we made our first film ever, which is about six years ago, called Intense Battles, mm-hmm. where I was the main protagonist. And he was the antagonist. Yeah. And we were just duking it out. We had Nerf guns. <laughs> and then it was just crazy explosions at the end. Um, and then recently we decided last year to redo Intense Battles you know, with, you know, some of the networks and and connections and equipment we had then to reboot it and try to make something of it. So 
having a production company at the age of 15 starting it, I was never serious about it. And I didn't think it was going to get to this stage of the game. Mm. Um, but it, I am very, very grateful for all the opportunities thrown at me and just overall grateful for the opportunity to uh, be able to show these films on a much larger scale. Yeah. Uh, and, and just grateful for the opportunities that other, you know, networks that I have built along the way have given. Yeah. So that's, it's a gist of Rainium films as well. <laughs> yeah. And how's the technology been? Because you were quite lucky in the fact that you've started a film production company in an era where we have fancy editing software modern cameras and of course lots of sites like YouTube where you can put your work for people to find yes in terms of technology wise when we first started uh, me and Inyo we started just making videos on YouTube yeah. so along the way we decided you know um, when we finally got serious about it which was fairly recently I would say around like 2018 2019 19, we decided, you know what, let's make plans to trademark this name. Mm. Um, and how the name Rainian Films came to go, uh, it sounded cool at the time, so we just kind of went with it. Yeah. Uh, that's, <laughs> that's really what it is. Um, but like you said, in terms of technology, once we trademarked the, uh, the name, we decided to open up a website and uh, from there, just basically elaborate through different platforms and, and, and network through different platforms and um, as well as different networks that I've met along the way, such as mm -hmm. David Grayson. Uh, he helped along the way in trying to get our stuff on IMDb. Yeah. And uh, just basically just trying to, you know, uh, show these stories to different platforms. Uh, equipment is definitely upgraded. We're no longer on that camcorder. <laughs> it was a, a, a Canon Vixia mm -hmm. RF500. Yeah. I still remember it. I still have it as a collector's item. <laughs> yeah. This is something that a lot of maybe camera pedants are going to shoot me for, but these days you can film something on your phone and it's quite good quality definitely so filming on the phone believe it or not i got now is primarily filmed on the phone mm. um yeah so i got now intense battles reloaded was actually also filmed partially on the phone as well um there were times where we were in a pinch and when we shot these two films uh well the series and the film um, most of it, for example, Intense Battles Reload was shot on the cannon. Yeah. Um, but there's times where we were in a pinch where batteries died. We didn't have the proper equipment on certain days. And we were just like, hey, listen, we got a phone. Let's just, <laughs> you know, use our phone. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, yeah, you know, phones are a great resource. And I think anyone could really become a filmmaker just as long as they put their mind to it. Yeah. These days. So in terms of the films you do, what genres do you like to do? Do you like to stick to any or can it vary? The genres that I feel most comfortable in putting together and directing um, would definitely be action mm. and thriller. So those are the two genres I tend to fall into and stick to. Yeah. Um, I had ventured out to different genres genres have i been successful in them mm. uh, maybe maybe not yeah. but i i am definitely open to uh try different things yeah and action and thriller can sometimes be combined can't they because they are different genres but they are similar yes definitely so uh, we're actually working on a project now that's a, uh, a direct sequel to Intense Battles Reloaded that has a, a lot of action mixed with a bit of thriller. Ooh. So uh, definitely going to be, ex I'm just excited about that. And it's going to be shot on the Black Magic. Yeah. So we're testing out new camera uh, and equipment with this film. So definitely definitely uh putting those uh, two genres together is going to be really exciting for the yeah. team and how would you describe yourself as a director are you harsh or do you like to be nice to people how does it work so as a director and just just as a per just, just as a person mm -hmm. in general uh my biggest philosophy is i like to treat people the way i would like to be treated mm -hmm. so you know that i feel like comes a long way and it also carries in, in, into you know films and directed um so whenever it comes to set i've been on sets where you know i have been talked to harshly of course oh. at a tough love but there's times where i you know i feel like you know you got to be able to tell the people that you're working with that you're proud of them mm. that they're doing a good job because at the end of the day if you don't do certain things as small as that you know mm. it may seem small to you know you or me as directors or whatever but to them that means the world so definitely when it comes to directing 
Uh, I try to be very humble about it. And I, you know, definitely try to, you know, encourage others because at the end of the day, without the people on these sets, without the viewership and without everyone collaborating together, there would be no rainy in film. So yeah. that's, uh, that's the mindset I like to keep on when I try to make these films. Yeah. And how long does it actually take you to make an average film? On average, there's been times where I made films within a week, mm. a couple days. Wow. It really all depends on the project because on IMDb, I, I, I've had, I've done numerous films. I have about 70 titles on there yeah. between independent uh, short films, feature films, series, you know, mm. all of that stuff. And it really all depends on what the project is. Uh, for example, um, let's say I'm shooting a short film that requires maybe like two to three characters mm. and just a couple of environments. Uh, generally, I would say, you know, depending on how big the budget is and how, uh, you know, all those different factors play, uh, maybe it would take a week, two weeks, wow. but something like... Um, uh, intense battles reloaded or I got now because of how ambitious we try to go with it the direction we try to go um, it definitely took like over a year mm. two years for those projects um, trying to get different casts to you yeah. know be be together on the same day. Those are all the different things. Um, but it really definitely it definitely depends. Yeah. And how long are the films that you make in a week? Are they short films or are they feature films? Because that must take a lot of effort to do a feature film in a week. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so uh, to elaborate more on that, hmm. uh, the films that are, that I've generally shot within a week at most were short films. Yeah. Um, so they usually, they, they round about maybe 10 to 20 minutes. Um, for example, I had a couple films that I still have out back on YouTube uh, in our earlier days, maybe 2016, 2017 where you know some of the films were like 10 20 minutes and only had like me and like two other people in it yeah. uh those took about a week within shooting it editing it and just putting it on youtube now uh the films that take a little longer maybe about a year yeah. two years because it has a lot more people involved you want to try and get everything on you know platforms it takes a lot longer, especially trying to get everybody on the same page and get everybody together. Yeah. And I looked at your IMDB page, by the way, and I nearly had to replace my scroll thing on my mouse. <laughs> You've got so many credits there in such a short time as well. Honestly, Toby, just in the beginning, I didn't take it seriously. But then mm. when I found out how much fun you could have with making content and just the impact, the overall impact of just you leave on others, you know, just the way, because I, you know, and I'll go into the IMDb thing in a sec. Um, so I, I heard a phrase, I read something once where it's like, people don't remember how, what, you know, what you show them or what you tell them, but they remember how they feel. Yeah. Um, and just after making these films, it's just a big encouragement to just take on any opportunity that comes my way. And the biggest thing I have for younger filmmakers, you know, that decide to start, you know, that that age, um, it's definitely it's not stable, it's not steady, um, and you need to have a full time job or a full time career, something on the side to be able to fund that stuff. And that's mm -hmm. honestly honesty. Um, so a lot of those credits came from taking on every opportunity I can get, whether it's free, unpaid, um, or just generally helping out just to get a credit or my name out there. Uh, mm -hmm. Some of them were paid, a lot of them aren't, but. I did realize that that's just the nature of the game and just trying to get your name out there. It's it's a lot of work, but it's it's good work and it's you know it's good energy that you get from people at the end of the day. Yeah, absolutely. Well, what's coming up for Rainium Films? I think you mentioned a few things, didn't you? <laughs> yes. So it's good that you asked. Um, so one thing was the sequel to Intense Battles Reloaded, yeah. which I will now release the name. It's called Dominic Bane. Um, it's going to have, it's basically going to elaborate on the characters that were hunting down the main protagonists in the last film. Um, and that's going to be a huge film. A lot of big actors in there um, and a lot of, you know, people that have a lot of networks and connections in there. So I'm super excited about that. Uh, we're currently shooting I Got Now season two. And uh, at the same time, also working on another film with another good friend uh, of mine. His name is Roberto Ragone. 
uh, we're deci- we decided to take his play that won a couple of theatrical awards called Romanteroni, and I'm going to help direct and produce that into a, a short film mm. as well. So we got a couple of projects on the line, uh, mm. a couple of things coming out soon. Uh, but the biggest one out of all of them, because it's going to be a feature uh, alongside uh, I Got Now, which is a series that will be big as well. Definitely Dominic Bain. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We're going to be testing out waters with equipment we've never used before. And uh, it's going to be a cast of about like 50 to 60, possibly pushing 70 as well. So just big things coming up and uh, definitely excited to to continue on with that. Yeah. Well, where can we keep up to date with Rainium Films and check out all the films and TV shows? Definitely. Uh, so you can check out the majority of our films uh, on RainiumFilms.com. Um, you can also see everything that we do have on Uranium Films on Instagram. We also have a Facebook page. Um, we're a lot more active on the Instagram page because it, t- it seems like that's where a lot of people tend to go now. Yeah. Um, and uh, as well as uh, I have a personal account, which I also do promote stuff that I don't promote on Uranium Films, uh, the official uh, official Matt Silva. So those are just different platforms you can go on. We have content available on Amazon Prime, which, for example, that would be I Got Now uh, and Intense Battles Reloaded. But anything else that we do have, uh, you know, that you would like to view, RaniaFilms.com is the best bet. And the trailers are on the YouTube page. Great. Well, many thanks for coming on today. It's been <laughs> great to talk to you and stay safe. Awesome. Thank you so much for your time, Toby. It was such an awesome, productive event today. I appreciate you having me on.